Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Sacro Lumber AK Magnum 05 here, and what I have here is a vintage AT&T cordless telephone. This is the 5500. see here this thing has a speaker phone as you can clearly see of course the handset itself Let's see we got intercom program of course for the handset we have in use ringer off and of course right now it's charging and this one has 10 channels as you can clearly see it's at channel 1 right now for the speakerphone it has the same thing as the handset but this one of course the only difference is the mute right there here are the controls we have phone program memory redial off hold and mute This is what the inside of the handset looks like. It has the lights up here as you can see. Of course we have phone, off, intercom, hold, and the page button. And here's the battery indicator. Down here we have the memory, redial, and channel buttons. Now it's not perfect as you can clearly see. It is a little dirty. But it's not in too bad of shape. Now, fortunately, I don't have a landline, so this phone is not live. But I can still show you the buttons on how it works. Push off. Then push phone again, hit the redial. Right now, let's check the handset here. As you can see, that does work. Now, but the buttons, however, are a little Oh go, how do you say like not perfect because if you can clearly see I had to literally jam my thumb down in order to turn it on. Especially a little bit when I turn it off. Oh. Now the buttons, let me check something here. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, it's the phone is not perfect. See, I can't even get three to work. Let's see here. Hmm. Uh, yep. See, I can't even get three and six to work so far. Wow. See that all the buttons on the right are not working properly. Oh well this one works. So yes, this this phone does need some work. It does need some repairs done to it, so of course it's not perfect. But we do have some buttons that do work. Let's see. Push the page button. Hold on, let me hang this up. Push the page again. Okay, now it's louder. Let me see if the page button works on this handset here. Let's see. Yep, it works. Of 
course, let's check the channel button and see if that works. Let's see. If not, you can do always do it on the handset. No, wait, no. Okay, never mind then. Let's see if it works on here. Okay, so it does work, except for the fact that I had to jam my thumb a little bit in order to press the button. Okay, what I'm going to do now is do this again. Hang it up. Pick it up on the phone here. And we're going to push redial on here. Let's do it again. Okay, now we're going to test the intercom. Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so it seems that the intercom does work, which is good. Now, I don't know if I should demonstrate the hold in the memory buttons because of course I don't have a landline here so I wonder if you would have to have a landline or to demonstrate these buttons so yeah one more time let's take another look at this just do read dial one more time just for the heck with it all right now, this phone is from, let's see, it does have a date on the back. Here, let me lower the antennas real quick. So I can give you all a look at the back of it. Here, let me just take the handset off real quick. Look at the back of this. Of course, again, this is the 5500. And this one was made in June of 1990. Now open the handset here. This is a brand new battery inside the phone by the way. Of course again June of 90. Same as the base here. Let's see. Hold on, I'm trying to get back in there. There we go. Okay, let me let me sit the camera down just for a second here so I can put the antennas back up. And of course the antenna back on the handset as well. Alright. There we go. The antenna's back up, although it's not all the way up. I guess I should show it that it's all the way up. It's halfway up right now. Hold on. So yeah, eh. The base antenna is all the way up. Let's see, now I'm gonna sit the camera down for another second here. Hold on. Ah. Sorry, my fingers were caught on the strap here. Okay. All right. Of course, here's the handset. And yes, the antenna is all the way up now. Oh, there you go. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of this AT&T 5500 cordless telephone here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. I'm Sacolombo, AK Magnum 5 here. I almost forgot to show you all the switches on this side here for the 5500. Of course, we have the volume controls. We have the handset ringer control on and off. And the speakerphone ringer on and off. And of course, both of these are turned on. So, let me make sure I'm not missing anything here. Oh, the back of the base here. Of course, there's your phone line here. And there's your tone and pulse pulse switch. Of course, I leave it on tone. So, yeah. I almost forgot to show you all that. So, anyways, I'm Sakalombo, AK Magnum 5 You have a great rest of your day. Take care, and bye-bye.